Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to another episode of Woodville here in City Skylines. Guys, welcome back to another episode where last episode we kind of pretty much extended a lot of uh, Woodville. We built a brand new uh, residential area right now, which is the other side of the highway, which we do need to get a little bit more connected up. Uh, we expanded slightly our industry a little bit more, replaced our, what is, was going to be an IT cluster, but then I realized the buildings got too big, so we just changed the normal office area. It's slowly all coming together. Now, we built some districts last episode, and actually you guys, they gave me some really cool name suggestions for them, all based around wood. And a lot of you guys gave me some really good ones. There was one hilarious one that I definitely have to get in. So it should be a lot of fun. So as always, guys, if you do enjoy this and want to see more of Woodville in the future, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. And if you haven't already, make sure you do subscribe so you're notified when that next episode does come out. But we are back right now. We are back right now. Now, before we get into what we're going to be doing today, we are currently sitting at 12,000 population. Um, I asked you guys as well, should I try and incorporate a public transport train line? It would be a good idea, but I'm not too sure yet where I'm going to pull it, so we're going to have to try and figure that out. I want to do a little shortcut driving route for the wood industry over here to its processing buildings on the other side. So then we've got to like, join the highway, drive down, straight back up to there. Maybe we kind of incorporate or change the junction that kind of goes straight over and leads over to this side as well. We'll figure something out as well. It's going to be good. But boys, I am so excited. Now, here we go. We're back in Woodfield. Now, we've got some really good name suggestions for these places. Now, I'm not going to rename every district. So whatever districts I don't rename... You guys can give me some more suggestions in the comment section down below. Now, before we get into the hilarious one, you guys can give me some really, really good ones. We have them all over the place right now, these beautiful ones. And uh, we're going to try and get these together. Uh, some of them were a bit rude, you know, alluding to, you know, morning. Yeah, this is Woodville. <laughs> you know where that's going. Uh, but your boy David Brooke came up with like twig and berries park which is a good one woodpecker heights for the residential which i think i'm gonna go for this one to be woodpecker heights so we call this one wood pecker uh heights i think it's about that right there we go nice little ode to a type of bird that destroys trees <laughs> <laughs> in a way uh we've got uh pretty a few of them. i'm trying to go through all of them right now and kind of pick my like favorite and like best ones uh somebody says oak island after the show on history channel but we kind of don't really have an island at the moment maybe that's why we re renamed this big section there that would be pretty cool wouldn't it that would be pretty cool right now uh cedar point um is an amusement park in the northeast of uh, ohio now that's quite a cool one i might actually name the IT, well, it's not an IT area, the office area, Cedar Point. Only because it looks like at the top right side of it, it actually has a point, doesn't it? So that would be kind of like a cool ode there. So we've got Woodpecker, we got Cedar. And I'm going to rename one more area, which is actually not going to be these two areas. I'm actually going to rename the park because when I seen this name, I thought, one, it's perfect right for this place uh it's a, a hilarious play on the words for a wood themed name but i thought it would be perfect as a an attractive name for a park making people want to go and it's going to be called and uh this is from uh, dr controversial and um they say spruce you ready for this guys you ready spruce willis <laughs> if you don't know who spruce willis is Nobody knows who Bruce Willis is, but there was an actor uh, in Die Hard called Bruce Willis. You get it? Spruce Willis. We'll call this Spruce Willis Park. That is hilarious. I think we... I don't think anyone can beat that type of name when it comes to these areas. So, we have Moore Square and we have Franklin Park still left to rename. So, if you guys want to give me some comment su uh, suggestions in the comment section down below, I will be forever, ever grateful. Now, it's currently Wednesday in game 
It's um, 16.40, which is 20 to 5 on the evening, and uh, it's going to be getting dark soon. So, what I want to take a look at first, then, is actually going back to this brand new area that we built last episode. One, actually, we need to give it a region right now. So, again, if you want to also give me some name sessions for this new section, too, guys, again, greatly appreciated. So, by default, it's called Woodland Square, which is actually quite fitting for this area, but I'll let you guys rename it anyway. Oh, that actually reminds me. I put a, um, where is it right now? A, a heavy traffic ban on this area. Someone told me, Seniak, you fool. You damn fool, Leo. Because I put it on that area, this road here that needs to get into the industrial area has a heavy has a traffic, you know, ban, thingamajig. Oh, snap, it's all going wrong. You're, you're, you're so foolish that we know heavy traffic can get to industrial areas, and I do apologise, guys. That's just reminded me right there. But at least this one in the middle, tearing through, is a little bit different. Whoops-a-daisy. Anyway, back to business, back to business. So, yeah, we've got this area right here right now, and the only way to get to this area at the moment is via this road. And some people said, Sending, why don't you do some like kind of bridges going over for like bicycle paths and normal paths because people do love to walk in the real time mod and that would really take advantage of what we could potentially do for this so and I thought you know what that's a pretty cool idea so while we got a little bit of sunlight left over why don't we then set this up so I think uh, what I'd do is I'll do a bicycle path in the middle and then two normal walking paths either side so let's raise this up to 10 right now and we'll get kind of close ish if i do that there to there for a walking path i go there to there for a walking path there and then we'll do the bicycle path let's say about there so giving us loads of little ideas and stuff we can pretty much do and the bicycle path is not really going to add anything from it, but I can kind of like extend it from both sides. That's where we can really benefit from it. Not really going to be too much effective going across, which is such a short distance anyway. But we'll see what we can come up with right now. Now, do I do something fancy to kind of get it all connected up? I think it will be quite a little cool idea. So why don't I go for a nice little bend? So if I kind of, um, if I start up here and bend it like there, but bring it up a little bit. I bring it up by five. There we go. And lead it up to there. I use the mover tool just to kind of like play around with the spiral of it. So it comes down to there. I feel like that is a bit funky. Right, there we go. And what we'll do is we'll select all the points to it. There. And then we'll kind of then slope them. Oof! How did that happen? Right now. Undo that, boy. Right, okay, select you, select you, and select you. Can we slope them nicely? Yeah, they're a little bit better. And we'll try and get that a little bit more straighter. So he kind of spiralizes up on that side, which will be pretty cool. And do I do the same for this? Maybe. Maybe. What? How? Hang on. Where is it kind of kind of gonna come from? Actually, do you know what? No, I won't. If I do a a five by five bend like this, and then bring it down to ground as normal. There we go. And then we should now. All right. Bring it round to there. So I've demolished a little bit of that building, but that's okay. We had that little walking section there. But what I'll do is I'll make the bike path come across this way and whatnot. But let me sort this section out first. Um, right. So if I kind of did something not too similar, but kind of bring it right down right now to zero. To where, let's say, a path would be. Actually, let me delete that bit. All right, there we go. And then straight down. Connects up gloriously. So they're a bit funky. 
but that would do they would do us just well now is this going to have the same issue right now if i then choose to align it no that one worked fine so i don't know what your issue was over there fool but people are already starting to use it you can see people are already walking across and i haven't even finished it up yet guys i haven't even added in the magic touches just yet so that's pretty cool to see now this one we're going to try and well first things first i take it from here and if i kind of bend up and around or oh, too far over let's try that again there we go and if i just connect like that again it's a little bit too much too staggered to my liking but yeah you're not really gonna get much off that really if i drop it down a tad bit just there so straight over like that just really really simple nothing too crazy and then we're going to sort the bike path out under the middle now the bike path is going to be an interesting one because it only allows bikers on this which means we can kind of utilize this a little bit more than than normal paths rather than having like a straight connection there um bikers obviously would come from this area so if i brought initially first the little path to come out there and right if i right, what's the best way to do this if i went like that or if i kind of twisted it over this way like well, that's where the biking starts so that kind of comes up to there because it can also be used as well as people to like get to areas a whole lot quicker that goes to there now we're gonna try our best right now like i said to do something a little bit different to the normal now i'm trying to kind of create like a some type of design but is that way too funky? That is way too funky. Why am I even trying to attempt something like that? Get it out of here. Fire this dude right now. Fire this dude for coming up with these designs. Now, I could just go over like a simple straight down, but that is way too dramatic. That is way too dramatic, but it all depends. On the angle we get to play around with. And if I did that there to kind of bend this around. So we're pretty much flipping this all back now, aren't we? Right, if I delete that and that, and then we'll wiggle it back around as normal. And then that way we get our incline a little bit better. Like that. Okay, leave that to that. And then we bring this semi down as well. Right, that's still perfectly... Nobody uses this highway, do they? Oh, yeah, we got a vehicle coming down right now. Okay, this is the perfect judgment to see if that is, is high enough. And then we'll do something similar to over here. So is it high enough? Yes. We are okay. I'll check these vehicles now. Oh, that is more than high enough. Okay. That's good then. <laughs> so what I'll do, I'll first initially cut through here. Bring that down to there. So I'm so sorry for deleting that little bit of section there. And then we'll have our little bike path also go underneath. There we go. Do a little bit of a wiggle. As then I'm going to bring it down to here. And then this here. We'll just simply connect to there. So no issues. No worries. All good. All good. All good. All good. And then we'll just use a generic path. To kind of like connect to there 
and we'll spiral it down just a tad bit there. To connect. So I'm, I'm trying to go for something a little bit funky, not normal. You know, to add a little bit of character to these runs and stuff like that. Gonna add, we'll add a little path that kind of comes off these. So again, it might get rid of some of the housing. But that is where, again, we add in the character to this side. So I do apologize, guys, for deleting some of your your buildings and whatnot. But it's a little bit funky. You, you get the funkiness now falling into place. So it might look a little bit weird. But at the same time, we got something good happening right now. We do have something good happening right now. So yeah, just give them time then. And it all should fall into place. It should all fall into place. Right. Okay. So, they can now walk between each side, which makes it a whole lot easier. And while that now all takes place, and while we go through our night cycle period, uh, one, we'll fast forward it so we can get through a little bit quicker. But also, right, I'm going to actually take a look at maybe setting up some kind of train line. Now, when we look at this little section here, the train lines on this side. If, let's say, I had a train station here, a train hub, transport hub that included train lines, I could get my subway line connected to there because we have the subway line up here too, the crisscross there. So what transport hubs have we got that we could utilize a train line from? Now, we have the, 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 the general multi-end platform, the multi-station one, which is a little bit too OTT for us right now. I have the, the one that includes the monorail and metro. We're not really going to have a monorail over here at the minute. I have the generic train to metro, which that might be the one to kind of go with from the get-go. So that, oh wait, is it, what is it again? Uh, train metro hub, which with how it looks and how it is kind of designed and placed, they're both above ground, aren't they? Yeah. Um, okay, I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Let me go back to this monorail one. That's then kind of the same kind of thing. But that I can place at the edge. Now the... What is it again? Sorry. It is a, a metro, monorail, and trains. So the monorail... Ah, the monorail's on the inside. Oh, so hang on, we got power issues, boys. We have power issues. Now, what has what has died out? We, oh, it's because this isn't hasn't got hasn't got water again. I'm sure we give it water. Are we out of water again? Hmm. Right. Is my budget set back to 100%? No. Okay, let's put the budget back to 100% for water. And then that means I should have more than enough. Yes, I do. There we go. Right, before I was rudely interrupted by no power. Yeah, we don't really have a really good transport hub, do we, that we could utilize from that. So it might be that I have to kind of just do this and just go with it. But then this road is, it would be nice to have it kind of almost centralized. But we're going to have like a really weird setup, aren't we? Like do something like that. Oh, hang on, not like that. <laughs> um... So maybe I have this road come in and then connect it in down here. Is maybe the way to go forward. I don't know which side is the train line and which side is the, the metro. So if I just do this... I have a feeling that the larger side is going to be the train line. Like the larger building. So if I just went like with something like this. Yes, we got it right. Go like that. I'm going to delete this road. Now, straight away, we could potentially just use it for the intercity connection that's going to happen for us anyway. That's what we could utilize it for to begin with. But let me go back to these roads right now. So this, where does it go before the bend happens? Okay, we don't know. So I bring this down a bit more. I bring it down to by number 30. Can I see from here? No. That happens at 33, 28. So if I went down here by 28... Oh, no, there we go. 24, maybe? 24. 
does that. So that road comes down and bends quite nicely leading up to this area. And then it would continue to go along. And I'll probably like edge it up to bend that way a bit more and get like a proper connection there, which we could utilize a whole lot better. But what it does and what's most important about this section is for the train line, we can have very, very connected very, very closely like this. So I'll let it run up a bit more first down there. And then we'll try and I'm trying to arch this a bit more. Yeah, we'll go like that. This. We'll go to there. So I'm not trying to make the arches too too sharp, if that makes sense. Not the arches, the bends into it. So if I go to there. And then we just use the move tool there. So we've got it. It just slides in quite nice. Same goes for here. So move that down a bit. There we go. And that becomes our little train connection. Here. Now, straight away, we're not going to have it set up as a train line, like to and from areas until we have a little bit more work done to the other areas. But we have this connection up here, the train line, sorry, which we could lead into something or other. I'm not 100% sure yet, but we do have the options. But it does then lead on to maybe from the metro side of things. We have a stop here. I could add another stop around here for this that section to stop there. So intercity trains could come in. They could transfer to a metro and then make their way over that way, which this would lead up to having a stop here by this industrial area. Ooh, you see how it now all kind of falls into one another? It all slowly comes together. See, I'm not just a pretty face, am I, guys? I'm not just a pretty face. That's what my, my, that's what my mom tells me, guys, so you better believe it. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. So I was going to do like a generic um, connection over for a bit of power there. And we are allowing intercity trains, which will drop off like a lot of tourists and stuff like that. But uh, that's what the metro line could do. But then we got to think of what we can do to actually have a proper passenger train line. Now, the train line does connect over here and it goes in this direction. So we could always have passenger lines to stop there for workers for this area, which is really good. Now, an actual train line, train line. Let me go to the train line here. I do have these stops, which is a modern train st station. Uh, this does provide, look at this, I could have like something like this, there's like an elevated train line that goes through, so maybe like, you know, we had a stop there, it went around, had a stop here, then maybe we had a line come off that kind of elevated through here, had a stop there that kind of crossed over and linked back up to that one, ooh, or is that merging them too much, but then you got to argue. Yo, you can do that with the elevated metros, then, yeah. But we could keep the metros crisscrossed underneath anyway. Hmm. Choices, boys. We have choices right now. Um, okay. Okay, so if I did do something like that, and the train line came down to here, that's how that takes place. We would kind of need it to... come out that way and then kind of go across, but then... Are we going to be having a join that goes in that way? For the highway? At the moment, we, we haven't needed it because all the traffic's coming from this way. So, what's my other options I got here? A modern station. So, what's this again? Sorry. Uh, has With a six bus stop hub. Okay. And this one is two train platforms with six metro platforms. Ooh. Now, you, sir, have sparked my interest even more. Because that could be integrated again off this as it passes through to this area. Oh, snap. 
Oh, snap, boys. But that, that does then become like a really big hub. I probably won't utilize all of those connections. But we could definitely intertwine traffic again. And pedestrians and whatnot. But that's not elevated like how that is. That, well, then again, this is not elevated, is it? It's on the ground. Oh, that would be so good. That would be so good. But we're going to have to... Like I said, we'll have to elevate the train line coming through. Um, that's if I did that, it's going to there. It could not work like that. It could have the train lines come out to here. And, um, you know, just connect over there in general. Oh, man, I've got so many options. So, hold on. So, if it did come down here, then it follows that line going around. Which goes around there. Bends round, which oh yeah, it can be connected. So it can complete the loop and line, which would be handy. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay. 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 Right. Let's let's attempt that then. This is now completely sidetracked me. It really has. So, first things first. Let's kind of try and design our bridge. That's going to pass through. So if I start by up with 10. And hold on. Hold on. i got to first figure out where it's coming from. So it's coming after all of this. So if I start it there. And just pushed it along. To here. So we still get to keep the zoning. Because of how far back the platform or the train line is on that building. But then as we get to this part here. It changes slightly. Now, we've got to get it going across. And then we can connect it up, which is the easy part. But it is going to tear through those houses here. Now, are they going to like the fact that I'm doing this? Probably not. And then... If I went to there, that's a 15 there by 15. So if I anarchy that there, that becomes straight. Now, is that a little bit too much, do you reckon? Is that a little bit too much to have a train line elevated through this whole little section? This is something that I don't normally kind of work with, is actual passenger train lines. But again, like I said, it could be like a really smart move to utilize this a bit more. Because eventually when I've got more residents around here and I start using that. I mean, they could use the subway line that kind of directs straight up from the middle anyway. But it's that passenger line that passes through and it kind of uses intercity trains. And they're going to come from all different areas and stuff like that. And I'm combining as much as... Oh, see. The, the, oh. It does make me excited to kind of work with something like this. So that line comes up to there. So I can have this all the way up to here before we have that pass through. So then if we say that this road here was the connection, where does that come from up to that point? Mm. So that's only there because of how that sticks out by 30. But if I go up by another 10 and say instead... That was the crisscross connection. Because it does give us a little bit of space then to mess about with this. But I'm always going to have the issue with that train track. Because if I place that there, no matter what, I've still got to bring it down. So if I delete you... And just go for a straight connection like this. And as good as that seems, you know, amazing, brilliant, you know, iconic. <laughs> no, we, actually, we, we, we get away with it, don't we? We actually do get away with it. Why does that seem like really, really high? Or is that like sunken down? No, that's just how it is, isn't it? Yeah, that's literally how it is. 
So trains can then obviously go to that stuff, which is all good. So I can have a passenger line stop over here. Got to reconfigure this. We really do have to reconfigure that. But it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. That could pass through there. Which then ultimately, eventually, because obviously I had the cargo port over here. Train lines going to it and the connection over there. I can have another train stop over on that side for that area. Leading over to this area. Right. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So if I for now then sort the metro out, because that's like really, really important too. So if we go for the underground stop there. So we've got one there. Now I could elevate the metro, but then it's got to go underground to there. So I might as well make it underground. And if I pull it on this side here. And then let me turn the anarchy off. Oh, snap. I placed that with anarchy on. That's my downfall because it messes up all your stuff, doesn't it? Um, bring that down to there. Oops. Okay. And if I set this point here and then it kind of came up itself. Right, we'll sort that in just a, a memento. Right, how does that look from the outside? So we can visually see it anyway, so it's not a biggie. All right, there we go. Let me uh, get rid of... How do I get out of tunnel mode? No, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That will work. So stop just there. Which these guys are going to love this stop. Because they can travel so easy to places then. Uh, that's going to continue. But obviously it's got to get caught up to over here at some point. So. And that's the thing. I can actually make it come down to here and bend that way. But then where would the util utilization. Ooh. I say where would the utilization be at that point. So these are my options. These are my options for this subway line. I could either make it go there, stop there, stop there, stop there at this one, and then pass through up to there, and then off it goes up to there, or wherever it may go, it might kind of bend up this way, and kind of, I don't know where it's going to go, or it could be the end of the road for it out that one, or I can bring this around here, drop it down that way, and it goes this direction, okay, now if it did that, then I've cut off the ability for a subway line to go up this way. It's only really the industrial area there. But then what I could say is, if it dropped down to them went that way, and then this crisscross line, the one going left to right is a new one that goes up to there. So the dead end is there, it goes to there. And then it might go up to there. I don't know. Or Then the train line has a stop up there. So you got to... Yeah, it's too many lines that they've got to cross. I'm, I'm, again, I'm, I'm probably overcomplicating things. So I bring this out to here. And then this is where we do our little bit of magic. Nice little shimmy <laughs> in the bend. And then... We'll go straight to there with that bend. So again, I don't know if I actually utilize the other three. I don't know. But the fact that we can get them connected like this is beautiful. So let's start with a line then. Go to there, to there. So this is our first metro line. And it probably get edited so many times as we kind of, you know, set this all up. So this is just our, we're going to say it's version 1 for now, which is great. Uh, we'll give it the water just there. They've got water, but these guys need power. Uh, does this need power as well? Yeah. Right, is that enough to give it power? Yes. Okay, it's got power. So we have a subway line that tears through from one train station to the other, which is actually pretty cool. And then we can utilize the train station from passing around. So making it as 
connectable as possible because then all of our residents love it. It will reduce traffic. Of course it will. Of course it will right now. And this will get utilized a whole lot more too when we build more of the neighborhood around it. So that's also going to be exciting to watch it kind of grow. Okay. Okay. So now we've got to get back to the actual train line itself. So like I said, it kind of comes over to here. And we've got to have a passenger stop here. And I've only really, really, really got to connect it to this line. Because it does all the rest of the work for me. But I've got to reconfigure this. Now we've got all this little woodland behind there to kind of utilize it from. So maybe that's where I push back the cargo line. Yeah. So back to these roads. There we go there. And we need we do need to set something up. So let me mm. Well, that's a 40 there. So if I went across by 30, that's straight down to there almost. No, it's not even in line. What am I talking about? Right, I'm just going to have to kind of bite the bullet a second, pause it while I just kind of mess around with this. So 40 going up there. And if I bring this up to 100. And... Does the elevation change? Yeah, like the dip. There's like a little dip here, isn't there? And it kind of goes up a little bit more there. Okay. Okay. And. Right, and I did want my that road to come across. So, actually, instead of doing that instead. Right, kill this off. I'm actually going to change the position of the export area to somewhere else now. So, obviously, I can't make my mind up. <laughs> Is that connected? Yeah, back to normal. Um, because you can have that road come over here as well, why don't I do something up here with it? So, why don't I just bring a train line off that and lead it up in this direction? So... Right, what's the incline like? It is, it is a bit, you know, on the funky side, the incline. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's see what I can do first. Let me just see what I can do. So, okay, if that road came up and then bent round and we used it to connect to maybe this junction there. So if I bring that out by 40, so I'm no, I, I kind of know what I'm doing with it in, in, a, in a way. And then if we set up, now we don't really see too much traffic coming off it. Really, do we? We don't. So I could I could actually utilize having something here. So if I set up a... Well, come down here by 20 and then straight across. Look at the stagger it's making. I don't know if I'm a, I'm a fan of that, to be honest with you. A cargo train terminal, if I had it here. How does that sit? It don't sit right, does it? It's too, like, inclined. Yeah. So what if I moved it on this side just there? Right. And we can, like, jazz it up a bit and, like, add in extra train lines there. As if it, it, it kind of became, like, all a part of the same... Um, train yard, if that makes sense. And if I just select all these points real quick, and we all align them to object height of this. So it kind of looks connected, doesn't it, in a way. In a, in a really weird way, they, they kind of look connected. But we're just having like an inlet-outlet route, which completely changes all that up. So bring in, put it back to normal now, sorry. So bring in this out, and we'll bring it out there to there. And we'll do a... Ten by ten bend for it to connect to them. Let me just pause this. So we're going to get rid of this one. 
Now, I'll redo the line anyway to lead up to our passenger train line. But this is where I'm moving it over to. So this can come down. So it's... Okay, we'll bring it down. Okay, we'll bring it down to there. That's fine. A 13 by a 13 bend. But we have no train network on that. So what if I brought that in a bit to there? Brought that in a bit to there? And then, like what I normally do, just kind of like bend. So it's all connected, intertwined and connected there. Good stuff. And then if we kind of beautify the this. So granted, we're not really getting anything out of this. These lines there. They're just more for, for show, aren't they? They are just more for show. So if I delete that there. And then we'll play around with the move it tool. And we'll sort out as well. The elevation changes on this. So. Right, no roads. Where's roads? And then align to object height. I'm going to say that. Oh, snap. I thought I. Oh, my goodness me. Let me undo. <laughs> um, right, there we go. So it looks like we've kind of created like a little train yard, which is actually pretty cool, isn't it? It is pretty cool, but I don't know if I agree with this. All right, we'll anarchy that. Maybe if that kind of connected like that instead. That's a bit better for us. It's just for the visuals, isn't it? That's kind of really what it is for the visuals. And we'll give it the water. There we go. Uh, power. No, we don't have power just yet. So I'm going to run a power strip down to here. We'll get rid of this one. I know I could have just easily moved it, but I was just still trying to decide on what we're going to do with things. So back to normal we go. And the great thing is, they drive up in this side, drive in, they drive out, go around and come down. So no one's tripping over one another when it comes to, you know, getting to that area. If we do start to see a, lot of tra you know, a bit of traffic over there, we'll kind of sort something out. But this this is not the answer, was it? No. No, 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 no. So I do want to place down the passenger line then. Because obviously it, it can bring people over here for the workers. Because this area is going to be bulked up. And eventually we're going to get that quick route as well. We'll have a lot more goods being stored over here. So like I said, yeah, i got to create or add in my little passenger line. Now how much is that going to cost me? 45000 couple of different variations I could go with um, you know that's got the the buses on I could do another one of these and then when we integrate for example the subway that comes all the way over this way it could be utilized for this and how much is that 63,000 so is that something that I kind of go with first maybe Maybe. But is placing it there the right option? Probably not. Also, getting rid of that crossover on the road is probably a good option too. So if I delete it from there and pull this back a bit, we can elevate it over. We'll, we'll kind of wiggle it down and around, elevate it over, then we've literally we've got something good then going, don't we? So if we bring it down by 30... And across by 40 there. So we make it kind of bend down. Oh, no, that's a bit too far, actually. Let me do it back by 10. Right, there we go. We create that little square there. So with the, the, the rail network there, I could place it on this side. Because then one, I could kind of like design a nice little car park just here 
for workers, you know, traveling to and from or whatnot, or, you know, all that kind of cool stuff. Uh, two keeps that kind of turn over there, and also three gives me three subway lines. Again, probably won't utilize all three of them, but it gives me the option to bring a metro over here if we want to. So, this train line then, bring it out a bit. And then we'll kind of bend it just like that. And that becomes a 19. Okay, we go to the full 20 by 20, which is nice. And then we want to elevate this over. So if I brought this in a straight line to here, at this point we elevate it by 10. And then we, you know, I'll bring it over for a bit. I should have elevated it a little bit earlier. There we go, so it looks a little bit more natural. And then where... Five. All right, we go six. Now we go seven by seven. Just to there. And then we'll sort the elevation changes out real quick right now. So bam, bam, bam. There we go. And then do it over here. So you go bam, bam, bam. And a line there. So we've got some gradual changes as well. Uh, water needs to be connected all the way up. So does the power, which we can take from just over here. So we kind of back to normal now. We got a nice little train yard for the exporting, which is good to see. Got our little passenger line as well, which we're going to bring people over here for the workers. So I can add in that train line now. And then, so if we start here, it's only a simple free stopper. And. Oh, hold on. I need to get this connected. So foolish. So foolish right now. So we'll only really make it go down in this direction. Because that's really all we need it to do at the minute. Now, do I. What do I do? Do I anarchy it like that? Will that work, maybe? I'm hoping so. So where does that go? So if I just kind of bring that to there for the sake of it for just a minute. 12 by 12. Alright, turn the anarchy back off. There we go. Oh, no trees. No trees, please. And then we do the slow. Whew. How did that happen? No, thank you, sir. There we go. That slopes down quite nice. So let's get back to business. So a stop there. A stop there. And a stop there. And for now, that's all it's going to do. Again, until I eventually extend it a bit more that's all really it's going to do now do these allow intercity trains they do so all three of those train stops allow intercity trains which bring passengers and tourists as well so we got a couple in all different kind of areas right now which is good to see so it'll probably change all this stuff over time it probably will, you know, really will change over time. We have the future set up for expansions with more metro lines. Because these, right now, have those stops. That has already has a metro line in, which is quite exciting. Um, 10 passengers served. No, last... 44 in the last 10 minutes. I do apologise, I got that wrong. So that's pretty cool to see. But I do expect this stop over here to have a lot of intercity train passengers using this. Because that is then going to be the main hub for this whole little area. And so the train line is hooked up to the, the metro via the hub. And the metro is hooked up to the bus via the hub. So the bus, the metro and the train, all three of them, are intertwined and connected. It's too jazzy, boys. It's too jazzy right now. <laughs> 
That's going to be my new favorite word in this uh, series so far. Um, so, then you could argue, Seniac, you're going to need a bypass route for the uh, the cargo train because they're going to be waiting for when the passenger train goes through. Yeah, I could have to. So, eventually, I might make this elevate up and then go past and then connect back down to completely skip out that whole area. But we'll see what happens. It's probably going to happen around about now. You ready? So that goes through. Unless that stops there and that can pass through anyway. Yeah, okay. Actually, you know what? We might not have any issues. But it might be the issue when a cargo train is coming through this stop to get down to here. But, like I said, we'll just see what happens and we'll cross those bridges. Haha, <laughs> I get it because i got to build a bridge when we get to that issue. Now, I did want to build the highway coming down, but I'll save that for another time right now. And we've got to build the neighborhood more over this side. And it might be a cool option as well to get a bus route or to get, yeah, to get this bus route over here extending down. So, where is it? There we go. So, just for now, I'll get it to make, um, so I can't go all the way down, just to make a stop right there. So, stop there, it drive down there, stop there before coming into this area. Um... But then again, that's like, that doesn't really work if you think about it. Let me get rid of that stop. And that's because they're coming from that direction. You really want people over here to maybe go down to there. No, actually, no, I tell a lie. It'll be intercity train people getting off there who then want to go over to this side. So if anything, yeah, I do, I, I, I do need it coming from there. Because it's going to be utilized more... People who want to go to either over here or over there after the intercity train stops off. So you jump on the bus there. And that dries up and goes round. Maybe I put it on this side. Yeah, I put it on that side. So they can just kind of get off there and walk up. A little bit easy for them. It's trial and error. It, it is ultimately just trial and error. And we'll see what happens and how it goes down as time goes on. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. So that's had one person in the last 10 minutes. Nats has nobody. And this one's had 116. Whew! Okay. Alright, calm down. <laughs> um, but yeah. We'll see what happens as time goes on. We'll get this area built up a bit more too. And uh, really utilised from that. But if I can get those public transport connections down, then we should not suffer from traffic moving forward. The last thing I'll do today is get this road here connected up. So if I go by 10, delete back there, and then where does this connect? 11 by 11. So that bends beautifully as it leads down into this area. Wait, to be honest with you, it's not the most beautiful bend I've ever seen in my life. Let's see if we can do something a little bit better. So, 21 by 21. Um, okay, we'll go with that. It's not much of an angle that we can really utilize from it, to be honest with you. But it's good enough for me. Where does that... Actually, if I brought it out... Whoops. Yeah, you can't really go too far with it, but yeah, it makes it a nice little walking distance. Go straight down to the area if you did come here by, by a train. But like I said, we see what happens, boys. We see what happens. And on that note, as we say goodbye to Spruce Willis Park. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, guys, I'll see you all soon. So good. Bye.